Hey everyone! I know I haven't posted a video in a long time and it's because I've been getting everything ready for my new channel. It's no longer going to be just my singing videos, it's going to be my beauty and my music channel. So with that being said, I'm good. today I'm going to be doing my first beauty haul. I'm going to go by brand and I hope you guys like it. First, I went to Sephora and I picked up the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. I absolutely love the way this makes my makeup look and feel after I spray it on. Here's what the bottle looks like comes with a little spray pump. Next I pick up I picked up the Urban Decay Revolution lipstick in the shade Love Light. This is one of my favorite packagings ever. So shiny, so beautiful. Then the inside is purple. And then I'll swatch this for you. It's just a nice sheer pink color with some specks of glitter in it. So pretty. I haven't used it yet, but I will soon because it is amazing. Next, I picked up the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation in the shade Warm and Neutral. I like to mix my foundation sometimes. I am wearing warm on my face right now. I know it's luminous, but it's more luminous than I'd like it to be. But it is good. Next, I picked up also at Target was the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 220 Natural Beige. This is similar to the... L'Oreal True Match Lumi, but it doesn't leave me as dewy. I like this one. Then I picked up the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers in the shade 10 Light. I got two of them because I go through concealer like crazy because I absolutely love it so much. These tend to crease if I don't set them right away with a powder, but as soon as I set them, as soon as I blend it in, I'll be fine throughout the day. Then I picked up the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Then I picked up the Maybelline Black is Black Gel Liner. I've used this since I was in like 7th grade and it is one of my all time favorite eyeliners ever. So black, so creamy, so amazing. And it comes with the eyeliner brush. I really do like this eyeliner brush. I know a lot of people use like an angled liner brush from somewhere else, but I really do like this brush. Then I picked up the Maybelline Master Precise by Eye Studio Felt Tip Eyeliner. I'm going to be completely honest, this is one of my least favorite eyeliners I've ever picked up. I feel like the tip, here I'll show you, the tip does not work very well. You have to use the back of the, like the side and the back of the felt tip for it to work really well. It is so black and it dries matte, it's not shiny which I don't like eyeliner. So definitely not something I would purchase again. I don't know if it's just mine that the felt tip doesn't work or if it's all of them, so I don't know. Next I got the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara. It has a giant brush. I'm not a big fan of huge brushes like this because I feel like every time I'm gonna go do it, I'm gonna hit the top of my eyelid and mess up my eyeshadow that I worked really hard on. So I just, I have to be really careful when I'm using this. Um, next I got two NYX eyebrow pencils in the shade Taupe and Medium Brown. I got two of them because I like the tail of my um, eyebrow to be darker and the inner corner to be lighter so I kind of mix these and blend them together. Then I got a NYX Butter Gloss in the shade creme brulee looks like this it's like a really pretty baby pink right there I really love the color it leaves on my lips but it's kinda sticky so you kinda have to I'm not a big fan of sticky stuff because my hair gets stuck in it but I like the color I'll make it work then I picked up some Ardell Glamour Lashes in Wispy Black, and I just had to pick me up some because I these are a lot of people's favorite lashes, and I have to have me some good lashes. Then from NYC, I picked up the Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. The front of the package looks like this. It's just a matte bronzing powder. Really nice. Probably one of my favorite bronzers I have. Then I went and got some e.l.f. products. I picked up a blush brush from e.l.f. 
kind of small for me to be a blush brush. I kind of like a bigger blush brush. So I feel like I'd use this as a contour brush or maybe even a under eye setting brush. It's really, really, really soft. Oh my gosh, it's like amazing. And it's only three bucks. Next, I got a eye blending brush. It's really soft too. This one kind of sheds. I still haven't used it, so maybe it's because it's just brand new. That's what the brush looks like. Nice round. Not very pointed, just like a dome brush. Really nice. Then I got an e.l.f. blush in the shade Twinkle Pink. This is what the packaging looks like. Yeah, it's like right here. You can't really tell at all. Well, we'll have to see what it looks like on my face. Then I picked up the Golden Bronzer in the shade Golden from e.l.f. This is what this looks like. I, I think it's more of a highlighting shades than it is bronzing. Well, maybe this one could be a bronzer, but this one for sure is like highlighting. So from e.l.f. I picked up uh, the High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. This is what it looks like. Comes with a little brush right here. I haven't opened it yet. Here's the little package. It has like little holes in there where it comes out of. There's not a lot in there. It's only three bucks though, so whatever. Oh, it's like the tiniest brush I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Pretty cute. Give it to my sister. Then I went to morphe.com and ordered me some morphe brushes. I got the BK18, the deluxe round crease brush. Crease brush. Looks like this. Kind of looks like a pencil brush. Then I got the Duo Fiber Buffer, the M442 from Morphe. Then I got the B11, it's an angled liner brush. Then I also picked up the B75, the flat definer brush from Morphe. It's really nice and thin. Then I picked up the B77, it's an oval shadow brush from Morphe. So it looks like it's a good for packing on eyeshadow and on your lid. Then this is the pointed blender brush. This is the B79. I love this one. It's so fluffy and big. It's oh, it's amazing. I also picked up the pointed crease brush. It's the B80. This is what that one looks like. These are more dense and not as fluffy as the pointed blender. Then I picked up the Tapered Blender. This is still more dense than the other one. This is the B81, and it's bigger. Then I finally got to order me some Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I got the Hot Pink Z Palette. And what a Z Palette is, is it holds these magnetic little pans of eyeshadow, and they just stick right in there. So first I got the shade Shimma Shimma. Just a really pretty shimmery creamy color. There's Shimma Shimma. So pretty. I love using this as a brow bone highlight or an inner corner highlight. It's really pretty or even an all over the lid color. I love it. The next color I got is Beaches and Cream. Just a nice transition color in your crease. The creamiest eyeshadows I've ever used in my life. Just a matte color. Really pretty. The next one is creme brulee. Just a darker color for a transition crease. Whatever you want it for. Right here. Yeah, my light's not picking it up very well. Then this one is Cosmopolitan. So pretty. It's a shimmery orangey red color. Right here. Gosh, my light is horrible right now. Picked up Shimmer Shimmer though. The next one is Homecoming. It's also a shimmery shadow. 
It's like a taupey brown color. So it's right here. Then the next one is Cocoa Bear. I had to pick this one because all over YouTube, this is one of their favorite shadows ever. And now I see why, because it is beautiful. It is like a burnt reddish orange color that could be used as a transition all over, whatever you want, because it is just Cocoa Bear and amazing. Then next, I got the shade Bitten. It's just a matte purpley color. I don't know if I already said this, but these are so pigmented. It's like crazy. Right here is Bitten. It's just a matte color. The next one is similar to it. It is Burlesque, but this one is a shimmery color, not matte. There's them two together. There's Bitten and here's Burlesque. Burlesque, I'd say, is a more brown purple color and Bitten was more of just the matte purple. And then for my last Makeup Geek shadow I got is the blackest black I have ever seen in my entire life and it is Corrupt. Here, I'll swatch it for you. Real circle and it's right there. And look how black that is. That is like insane. And it doesn't come off. <laughs> It is crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave all the products listed in the description bar below. I would love if you guys would comment your favorite products, some products you would like me to try, what videos you would like to see next. So I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye guys.